Welcome back to Creative Grandma, everybody. Today we're going to learn how to do the regular Afghan stitch, or otherwise known as the Tunisian stitch. So first we're going to make our slip knot. So you're going to wrap the yarn around your two fingers, have the yarn to the back of your fingers, and the edge of the yarn to your right side and make a loop. You're going to put your hook through the loop, So it will look like that. Put your fingers there, hold it, wrap your yarn around the hook, and pull through that loop. Tighten up and make sure it slides up and down your hook very smoothly and easily. Now for the afghan stitch, you should use the longer afghan hooks. Depending on if you're making a scarf, you can use the smaller 10 inch hook. Or for an afghan, you can use the 14 inch hook or the one with the long wire. So to begin, I'm going to go ahead and chain 10. So you're going to put the yarn over your hook and pull through that loop. Yarn over through the loop. That's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now since we have our chain 10 completed, we're going to start our first row. You're going to skip your first chain and you're going to insert your hook into the second chain. You're going to put the yarn over your hook and pull it through, keeping all your loops on the hook as you go across your chain. So insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over, pull through, insert your hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull through and I will continue across to the end of the chain. Now whatever amount of chains you make, if you make a chain 10, you should have 10 loops on your hook. If you chain 100, you should have 100 loops on your hook. So there is your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 loops on the hook. Now to take your loops off the hook, you're going to put your yarn over the hook and pull through that first loop. To take the rest of the loops off the hook, you're going to put your yarn over, pull through the first loop, pull through the second. Yarn over, through the first loop, through the second loop. Yarn over, through the first loop, through the second loop. And you're going to continue to the end of your row. Now, to begin the second row, you're going to chain one. The chain one will always be your first stitch of the next row. You can see it lining right up. So when you start your next row, always skip this first stitch here. So you're going to go underneath this vertical stitch. You just stick your hook under it, wrap the yarn around your hook, and pull through that stitch. You're just going to insert your hook just under this one vertical stitch. Yarn over, pull through. You're just going to slide it right under that one stitch. Yarn over and pull through. And you'll continue that across the row. This is our last stitch, so just under the same one vertical bar and pull through. Now when you're first beginning, I always recommend to always count your stitches to make sure you have the required amount. In this case, it would be 10. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Now take, to take the second row off, you're going to do it the same as the first. You're going to take your yarn over the hook and through one. And then for the rest of them, yarn over the hook through two loops, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, yarn over through two, and you'll, you'll continue doing that to the end of the row. 
as you can see, I worked ahead and did several rows, and that's what the regular afghan stitch looks like. Now this stitch is particularly nice when you do um, the cross stitch afghans. You use the horizontal bars here to put your cross stitches over, and later on I'll do a video of exactly how you do the cross stitch on this stitch, but for now we're just learning the basics. So once you get your piece made of whatever you're making, afghan, scarf, I'll show you how to finish this off. So when your piece is finished, you're going to insert your hook just like you're doing the afghan stitch. Always skip this first stitch. You're going to go right underneath that bar like you're doing the regular afghan stitch. You're going to put your hook over your, your yarn over your hook, pull it through that stitch, and pull it through this which you can see it makes a nice stitch across the top. So again, you're going to just slide your hook underneath that vertical bar stitch. You're going to wrap your yarn around your hook and pull it through all the loops on your hook. And you will continue that all the way across your piece. Insert underneath the vertical bar, yarn over the hook, and pull through two. And you can see what a very nice edging that gives you. And when you come across to do your border, it makes it so much easier to go underneath those, those stitches. So let me continue across. Okay, so we're over to our last stitch. So you're going to go underneath that one vertical last stitch. You're going to put your yarn over, pull through. And then I always chain two and then I pull my yarn, cut the yarn, pull it through, and then just pull down. And that is your, your very nice edging to finish off your piece. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed learning how to do the afghan stitch.